and dental surgeons wrote the success as he masters his craft. Meet Dr. Danraj Buda, a 29-year-old ambitious and intelligent dental surgeon who founded Smile Designers located at Corifton the Beast. Dr. Buda learned his craft here in Guyana and has been accelerating his operation as new technology is introduced to the field of dentistry. When we spoke to Dr. Buda, he shared that it was his father who worked as a dental technician who sparked his interest in the profession and after exploring his options, he realized that it was a career path he would follow. So in 2009, he began his studies at the University of Ghana's Tain campus and then Turkan campus. From then on, I spent the next five years perfecting, studying, treatment planning and dentistry and everything that is about dentistry and being a general dentist. Um, it was a very challenging five years for me as I had to be a full-time student. Um, finance was a big, big issue. Um, being a full-time student, you know, you really don't have any part-time jobs and well, that was pretty challenging. I graduated in 2014. Um, from then on, after graduation, the, I was practically a dental surgeon with no money or no job or anything of the sort. Um, at that point in time, I, um, I applied for a contract with the Ministry of Health. Um, it took six months to get that contract, so I was literally six months jobless. Um, that six months, it, it was a hard six months, but I was very grateful for it because um, during that time, I had all the brainstorming to open my, my own private office. I had all the plans, all the business proposal. And after I got the job, and that's early 2015, I, I started working with the Ministry of Health. It was a pretty good experience. Um, I got to travel all over again, offering dental services, literally in every corners and remote communities that there was in Guyana, Region 9, Al Shelton, Region 1, literally went all over. So that was a really, really nice experience with the Ministry of Health. Like most things in life, he experienced many challenging days, but he always stayed the course. He graduated in 2014 and continues to take dentistry to the next level in Bobis with the many services he offers. Opening his own practice was a challenge. He recalls being told by financial institutions that it did not cost that much to open a business to pull teeth. But this was his biggest dream. And so, with determination and sacrifice, he was finally able to open his own business. But um, uh, I still went ahead with my plan on the side. Um, again, finance, big issue. I, I tried to get a loan to open my office and I was turned down by multiple um, financial institutions. Literally, I had one of them said, um, do you, if I need that much money to just pull teeth and really that's not what dentistry is about. Um, so that, that's, that's one of the issues that I find in Guyana and that a lot of people don't really understand the full extent of what dentistry have to offer. Um, so I continued working with the Ministry of Health for about two years. Um, from then on I, I save as much as I can and finally in 2016 I got her enough to open literally the most basic setup of a dental office right in Barbies where I grew up. Um, it, it was pretty nice. Uh, I had just the basic thing, basic services, primary dental care um, we offered at that point in time. Um, after that I worked a little bit more with the Ministry of Health and I was just running the office on the weekends. Um, it, it was nice and all, but then at one point in time I realized that I had to put a little bit more effort into my, my business, my, my, my own private dental office. And I made a, a really huge decision in quitting my full-time job with the Ministry of Health. Um, that was very, very, a very difficult decision to make. Um, as I, ha I had a secure salary coming in there, where I was jumping in into something so different, so new, that I wasn't sure if I was going to get um, you know, income all the time. But I was very positive about it. I mean, I, I really love what I do, and that's basically what I focus on. Now his company, Smile Designers, is offering full care dental services. At this point in time, at the moment to today, which from 2016 to now, we have myself as a dental surgeon, we have a dental hygienist, we have an orthodontist, we're offering full care dental service. The only 
dental um, service we're not offering at the moment is dental implants and we will be getting that by 2021 in 2021 rather plus another dental surgeon because at the moment we're currently working at full capacity so that's much we have grown um, so it's really nice to know that all the way up in Burbies here in Curveton we have a lot of dental service uh, available. Uh, I can elaborate a little bit more on that. Um, firstly, I, I want, one of the things we focus a lot on is preventive dentistry. I'm a firm, firm believer in prevention is better than cure. So what we do when patients come in, that's one of the first thing we look at. We look at oral hygiene and how they're taking care of themselves. Um, we, we, we try to improve that before we do everything else because you can't really do any other treatment if the, the patient is not caring from it. So we focus a lot on oral hygiene, gum health, getting the patient to brush and floss properly because that, that gives you a long-term result in what you're gonna do next. And after that, the next type of service we offer are restorative service where we repair what's badly damaged and broken and try to preserve what else is there. Um, we can even get more in depth to that where we, we, we do rehabilitation when there's missing to it, replace them by crown bridges, dentures, and then we have the oral surgery section where we do wisdom teeth extraction, minor oral surgery, phrenectomy, when you have tight tongue, all of that we offer here. Um, over the last two years, we had an orthodontist visiting us, Dr. Harry Hanuman. So now we're offering braces service where you, we physically change the, the alignment of teeth to get them in a better position um, so that you can bite and chew better, literally improving the, the quality of life. Um, one of the challenges I have at this office since I've been working here at my office here, um, we, we, we find that patients are not so receptive in the, in, in the way how we look at treatment. We look at dentistry as a whole, as a whole body. We don't just treat your mouth or just a tooth, right? We look at the whole patient. So uh, it, it took a while into, into getting my client base in, into understanding what we're exactly about. Um, so we, we, we focus a lot on patient education and getting them to understand that. And so far we have really, really good results. Patients really love the approach we take on dentistry as a, as a full treatment plan rather than just focusing on one specific area like doc this tooth heart we don't just do that i mean we will address the main and chief complaint but then we will look at it as a whole why is that tooth heart and how did we get there in the first place and how we can prevent this from happening in the future uh, one of the issues that i find working so far um, with elderly patients or patients in the uh, mid-30s and going on and something very very alarming is the prevalence of diabetes mellitus in Guyana. Um, diabetes mellitus is a very very serious chronic condition and it usually impacts your oral health and your periodontal health. Your periodontal health basically reflect on all the surrounding tissues that hold the teeth in place. So you can have a perfectly healthy tooth like a tree for example and um, everything around that tooth will tend to go bad due to the uncontrolled diabetes. So it's like a soil around a tree starting to erode and now you have that tree starting to move. So that would usually happen. And I have a lot, a lot of patients with, with this issue where they would come in in the mid thirties with diabetes or, or, or early forties. And I have to extract teeth, like a lot, a lot of teeth. <laughs> Eventually these patients become edentulous, totally missing all the teeth over a short period of time. Within five to 10 years, they lose all the teeth simply because a lot of emphasis are not being placed on the relation of dental health in terms of, as it relates to diabetes. So I would really like to see um, doctors and, and dentists working together hand in hand trying to combat this problem because it can be controlled we can we can preserve teeth and, and you preserve teeth like, like I was um, mentioning earlier uh, you improve the quality of life and you've been able to chew better he feels dentistry in Guyana has a long way to go and he was very happy to be in this position to spread awareness of what dentistry is really about the WHO um, definition of health is that health is is um, not merely the absence of disease, but is a combination of, of physical, mental, and social well-being. And the really good thing is dentistry covers all of that, physical health. If you're not getting to eat properly, your quality of life greatly diminish. Um, you, you're not gonna get enough nutrients, you're not gonna chew your food properly, digestion is clearly affected. 
um, in terms of mental health, the way how we perceive ourselves greatly influence um, our mental state of being. And you would find that, that having a really, uh, a really nice smile can boost your self-esteem and self-confidence. And dentistry play a huge role in, in, in that aspect. So in terms of social well-being, um, literally your smile can, can make a huge impression on a job interview or on a, on a first date. So all of these things, dentistry, um, encompass. Its focus is to educate patients and hopefully in the next five to ten years, the public can become more aware of the importance of dentistry. That's it for this edition of On Point. Do join us again next week for another edition.